Okay, good evening, Marlon. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, Marlon? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Good. Hoy madrugué. ¿Cómo se dice hoy madrugué, teacher? I'm early. I'm early. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's ah, good. Okay. okay, we're gonna wait for the rest of the class. Uh, okay, let's see. Marlon. No. Okay, that's good. Okay, Marlon. Uh, did you remember that uh, yesterday class we were talking about uh, can and could, right? Yes. Okay. Um, can you tell me the difference between both? Can es cuando yo digo, bueno, puedo, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. Y cool es cuando le decimos. Y cool es como decimos de una forma cortés okay. o descortés, ¿verdad? Y es de algo que, que pasó. ¿Qué pasó en él? Está en el pasado. Ajá. Ok, yeah. muy bien. Ajá. Ok, really good, Marlon. Ahí estamos bien. Eh, I don't know if you have a question about that. Or everything is clear. Mm, no, teacher, solo. Es de, okay. es, de, es de practicarlo para, okay. para poder mejorarlo. Ok, ok, really good. Thank you, Marlon. Ok, good evening, William. How are you today? Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening, how are you? Excellent. Ok, that's good. Amazing. <laughs> William, really good. <clears throat> ok, uh, William, we were talking. Creo que no tendré problemas con el Inter, no ha estado tan mal, pero vamos a ver qué tal. Okay, I hope so. Ya sí estuvo fallando. Yeah, yesterday uh, we uh, got a trouble with the internet connections, so I have the same trouble too. But right now uh, we hope that it could be better, right? Okay, uh, <clears throat> we were talking about Ken and Cool with Marlon. Uh, and Marlo said that can we gonna use for uh, una possibility or ability, right? Vamos a ocuparlo para una posibilidad o habilidad. Puedo. Uh, for example, I can speak English. I can dance. Uh, I can work. Entonces ahí demostramos una eh, posibilidad. O una ability, right? Y could, could, eh, era el que utilizamos para algo muy, ¿se recuerda? Could. Pero ven. Ok, good, uh, era algo muy polite, algo muy cortés, eh, o cuando nos referíamos to something in the past, right? A algo del pasado, que es podría o pude. Muy bien. Ok, but uh, we're going to try to make a feedback later on. Ok, Jaime Hernández, good evening, how are you today? Okay, I mean, I think you got a problem with the microphone. Don't worry, and Jose Angel Santos is connecting right now. He's not connecting with the audio, so we're gonna wait for him, right? Okay, I'm gonna write my full name. Good evening, Jose Angel. Good night, teacher. How are you today? I uh, fine teacher. Okay, okay, that's good. Amazing. 
Okay. Okay. Get me. Okay, pretty good. Um, we're gonna start with today's class because of the time. As you can, I hope you're ready, right? And uh, we got a this. Okay, in a minute. Yep. Sure. Okay, here we go. Um, Mauricio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thanks. That's good. That's good. Amazing. Okay. Okay, that's good. And basically, students, um, we're going to continue with today's class. We are in unit number two. And right now, we can, uh, let me see. We're gonna go to our map, right? Tenemos una actividad de inicio, and we're gonna try to remember uh, yesterday class. We were talking about can and could. Hablamos de can y could. What is can? Puedo. Really good. And could era? Podría. Pasado y. Pude. Pude. Okay, yeah, really good. Like this, right? Ok, eh, could denota algo eh, really polite, algo muy cortés en el presente, pero también nos va a demostrar algo en the past, right? For example, in this case, can, usted puede utilizar can para lo que quiera decir puedo. For example, I can, um, I can go to my office. Eh, es una posibilidad. I can swim. Puedo nadar. Es una habilidad. Entre otras cosas. Pero con could es más cortés. Cuando preguntamos. Por ejemplo, eh, could you help me, please? ¿Podría ayudarme, por favor? And so on, right? Ok, really good. Ok, good evening, Jaime Hernández. How are you today? Ok. Uh, good night. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Hello. Hello, Jaime. How Hola. are you today? Hello. How are you? Se oye. Tengo problemas con el internet de mi casa. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, Jaime. Really good. Uh, I'm glad to see you today. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue with this. Let me see. Carlos Alfonso. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. Cool. Marvin, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, teacher. Okay, okay, really. Okay. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to continue with this. And basically, um, we have an activity in order to understand this, but right now, we're going to go to the lesson objective for today's class. Uh, who wants to help me to read the specific one? Okay. Who wants to try to do this? Okay, go ahead, Marvin. Thank you. Uh, participant will be able to give and ask for opinion about a customer's satisfaction of a product. Okay, really good. Thank you, Marvin. Nice. Okay, in this case, you can say give, give, give. Tener. Give. Uh, okay, give is... Dar. Yeah, dar, dar. Muy bien. Por ejemplo, give a present, dar un regalo. Eh, y have es tener, have. For example, I have a cell phone. I have a cell phone, right? Something like this. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with uh, our second objective. I need somebody who help me to read it, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. 
class objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to know how to use may and may and make. Okay, okay, really good. Oh, Mike, como se, como yeah, se might, 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 may, might, might. And this one, able, able. Okay, uh, really good. Thank you, uh, students. Basically, uh, today class, we are going to talk about these two uh, models, verbs, made and might, and also we're going to learn how to give and ask for opinions. Okay, but uh, we're going to try to make a feedback about yesterday's class. Vamos a hacer una pequeña retroalimentación acerca de la clase de ayer, así que please be ready, right? Okay, Gabriela, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Okay, how are you, Gabriela? Uh, so, so. I have okay. a problem with internet. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, very good, but thanks. Uh, we, are, we are glad to see you here today. Okay. Uh, it's normal that sometimes we're gonna get a trouble with the internet connection, but uh, the most important point is to try it, right? Lo más importante es que están acá. Eh, vamos a intentar aprender eh, something new today. Okay, very nice. Okay, but we're gonna start with the attendance list. Okay, let's see. Eh, vamos a iniciar con la lista de asistencia. So when you hear your name, please say present, teacher, I'm here, right? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, really nice. Okay, here we go. Jaime Ernesto Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Se oye, Se oye. okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Jose Vladimir Jimenez Escobar. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Carlos Enrique Martinez López. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordones. Wendy, are you there? No. Okay. Jose Angel Santos. Present teacher. Martinez, okay, really good. Uh, let me see, Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Sí. Eh, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Fernando de Jesús Roldán Torres. All right. Okay, uh, Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Okay, no. Okay, really good. William Alexander. Eh, Martínez. Thank you, William. Eh, Miguel Ángel Alexander López. Present teacher. Okay, really good. Thank you. Eh, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Really good. Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla. Okay, he's not here. Clarissa Yamilet Chacón. All right, okay. Uh, Daisy Elizabeth Resigno Alvarez. She's not here. Okay. Daisy, no, right. Uh, Tatiana Ivonne. Okay. Tatiana, no, right. Uh, okay. Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. Present teacher. Okay, really good. Carlos René Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, really good. And Fabricio Alexander Jimenez Herrera. Present teacher, I hear. Okay, thank you, really good. 
Okay, before the attendance, uh, after this, I'm sorry, we're gonna continue with today's class and we're gonna jump to this activity. Let's see. Okay, ya pasamos la lista de asistencia. But now we're gonna go to useful words during this class. Okay, we're gonna see this. We have three words. The first one, uh, how do you say this one in English? Online. Uh -huh. How do you say this one? Satisfecho. Okay, yeah, that's good. Thank you, Fabricio. Satisfecho. In this one? Insatisfecho. Insatisfecho. Really good. In this one? Promedio. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, algo promedio, ¿verdad? Average. Really good. Okay, now I want to hear you uh, to say this word in English. Hey, Fabricio, can you help me with this one in English? Mm -hmm. Satisfied. Okay, satisfied. Satisfied. Okay. Satisfied, yes, really good. Satisfied or satisfied, the same way. Right? Okay, Marvin, can you help me? Satisfied. Satisfied. Okay, yeah, very nice. And uh, let's see, William, can you help me with this one? Average. Yeah, yeah, really good. Average or average? It's okay, really, really good. Okay, basically, students, uh, this is a really important words because uh, we deal with clients, right? In este caso, es importante porque nosotros eh, tratamos directamente con clientes. And some clients are satisfied. Sí, algunos están satisfechos y otros siempre eh, está ese cliente especial ahí que está dissatisfied, right? Dissatisfied. Yeah. And the average es un promedio, es algo que está ahí eh, ni muy arriba ni muy a, abajo, right? Okay. Okay, but uh, I want you to understand in a really deep way how to use can and could. Decíamos que can se puede utilizar para possibility, ability, eh, cualquier cosa que queramos decir puedo, but in presence, right? And could es algo más cortés. Podría, pero también significa something in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, así que uh, today class we're going to try to, um, to complete these sentences con la opción correcta. Tenemos en negativa y en positiva. Negativa, can't or cannot. Y eh, negativa de could, couldn't or could not, right? Okay. <clears throat> eh, we got um, 12 options. So in this case, uh, we're going to have eh, eh, one for each one of you. Vamos a tener una para cada uno, así que please be ready, right? Who mm -hmm. wants to start with the first one? According to the picture. Can't, Martin, can, can't. Okay. Okay, Mauricio, uh, can you repeat again? Okay, turn on the microphone. Yeah. Martin can't escape very well. She so practice a lot. Okay, yeah, very good. In this case, according to the picture, he can't, right? Can't. Can't. No puede, casi se cae. Si ustedes ven ahí, casi se cae. In this case, uh, <clears throat> we have this one. He should practice a lot. He should. Este should significa debería, debería, should, <clears throat> should. Remember, keep in mind, please. Okay, uh, we're gonna jump to number two. Thank you, Fabricio. Eh, veamos ahí, who wants to help us with number two? 
who want to do it. Don't be shy. Los veo un poco serios. Quizás la número dos trae muchas opciones. <laughs> ok. Ok. Eh, number two. <clears throat> vamos a dejarle un poquito de espacio. Vamos a saltarnos a la tres y luego pasamos a la dos. Ok. <clears throat> number three. Uh, Marlon, go ahead with number three. Mata cool draft pictures picture when she was five. Was five, yeah. Thank you, Marlon. Really good. In this case, students, uh, here we got a past tense, right? We could. Marta pudo o podía dibujar eh, imágenes cuando ella tenía cinco. In this este case, we're going to use was because we are talking about the past tense, right? Really good. Thank you, Marlo. Okay, uh, we're going to go back with number two. Uh, who wants to do it? <coughs> okay, el que se sonríe entonces le va a tocar number two, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just kidding, right? Okay, let me see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. William, William, you are the lucky boy. Number two. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sería la la A. Letter A, are you sure? <coughs> okay, William. Eh, vamos a ayudarle a William. Él nos dice que es la A. No puede ser la A porque eh, ah, no. about, uh, something that happened in the past, right? Yep. Ok. Ajá. Descartamos la agua. Vamos a ver. Quedan tres opciones. Sí, Chero. Yeah. Letter C. Letter C. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Letter C. Thank you. Letter C because uh, this is in the past. Could he ride a bicycle at the age of three? Couldn't. No, he couldn't, right? No, él no podía. A esa edad, él no podía andar en bici. Él no podía usar. Y a tu edad, manejar. He could ride a bicycle. Él sí podía usar un triciclo, right? Yeah, really good, like me, right? Casi en mi caso. Okay, nice. Okay, number four. Go ahead with number four. Vamos a darle the opportunity to William again. Yeah. William, you can do it. Say uh, yes. <clears throat> this is a uh, present, William. Present. Sería positive. Sería entonces literal C. Ok, ok. Uh, let us see. Ok, William. Uh, this one is referring to a past tense, but right now, how do you see uh, yes, Jessica? So, ¿Cómo ve a Jessica? How does Jessica look like? Ah, no sé. Fat. Yeah, a little bit fat, right? Eh, ¿Le va a quedar este vestido skinny? No, no le quedaría. <laughs> ok, ok. Entonces estamos hablando de este momento, right? Okay. Jessica. Hey. ¿Qué? Okay. Hey, yeah, really good. Thank you, William. Jessica Kent. 
wear that dress. Okay. Está muy skinny para ella. As she is too fat, right? Eh, ha comido muchos pastelitos, pan dulce, I don't know what, right? Okay, really good. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna continue with number five. And, eh, okay, Wendy, how are you today? Good evening, Wendy. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, okay. No era para preguntarle. Don't, don't be shy, right? Don't feel, you know, like nervous. Okay, really good. Okay. okay. With this one, uh, Marvin, please, can you help me? Number five. Because. Because. He was very sad because he could eat this ice cream. Okay, okay. <clears throat> In this one or this one? No. Cold. Letter A. Uh, uh, C, 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 okay, let us see, right? Let us see, couldn't. 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 Yeah, couldn't or could not. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Really good. We're going to use couldn't. No pudo or no podía because he was very sad. Porque él estaba muy triste, right? Estaba triste. ¿Qué le pasó al ice cream? Mm, se me cayó. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure se le cayó, right? Eso nos pasa a veces y nos ponemos ahí a little bit sad. Okay, really good. Uh, I'm going to continue with number six. Okay, uh, Gabriela, go ahead. My dog. My dog is looking. What is bomb? Uh, what is bomb? Bomb. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, Hueso. Oh. Okay. Can letter D. Letter D, can't. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you can find. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see something important here. My dog is looking for its bones. Mi chuchito ahí el firula está buscando el hueso. Eso. Pero qué le pasó? No lo encuentra. No lo puede encontrar. Ok, muy bien. ¿Y esa acción se va a describir en the past o en the present? Present. Present. Ok. Yes. Eh, ok. So he's looking. <laughs> ok. Ok, Gabriela. Vamos a ver. Let me show you something, right? En este caso hay algo muy especial que a veces nos, nos tiende a confundir. El pasado no solo vamos a hablar de ayer, uh, the day before yesterday, last week, la semana pasada, perdón. El pasado, eh, si ha pasado un segundo ya de la hora que estamos, ya es pasado. Entonces en este caso, ¿cómo ven al chuchito? Ya, ya se dio por vencido. Entonces sería que está hablando... De could not. Could not, yes. Couldn't. Couldn't. Couldn't find it. Yes. Okay. And this, uh, sometimes we're going to uh, try to hear this. Algunas veces se va a escuchar esto y vamos a decir, el pasado de, de ayer está hablando. Puede haber sido de un momento que acaba de pasar. ¿Sí? Okay, really good. Uh, we're going to jump with number seven. Okay, number seven. Let me see, Miguel Crespin, help me with number seven, please. Come. Okay. Come. Uh, this is a Come, she's no. No, dear. Um, he can't come, he's hurt by himself. His mother come eat for him. Okay, okay, really good. Uh, so in this case, uh, Miguel, can or can't? Can, cannot. Cannot, right, yeah, letter D. Thank you, nice, really good. Okay, students, as you see, uh, this exercise, it look like uh, beginners, but at the end, uh, 
y mira deeper analysis, right? Parece que es para principiantes, pero estas eh, oraciones necesitan un análisis más profundo. Ok, let's continue with this. Eh, Jorge Alberto, good evening, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Ok, ok, really good. Ok, eh, veamos ahí, Marlon, can you help me with number eight? Okay, Marlon, uh, what is the baby doing? My, my little brother. My little brother calls not work when he was six months old. Okay, yeah, very good, Marlon. Congratulations. Nice, amazing, I like it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Wendy, now it's your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Wendy, are you there? Okay, I think Wendy is, you know, uh, getting some pupusas for the dinner. Okay, <laughs> uh, we can uh, go with Jose Angel Santos. Okay, can you help me with number nine? Number nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tom Atlet. He can run very fast. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Jose Angel. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Okay, uh, right now, uh, because of the time, we're gonna finish on this. Vamos a finalizar este ejercicio uh, en este momento. Uh, because of the time, right? Por el tiempo, debido al tiempo. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to explain to you students and please pay full attention to this. Um, I'm gonna try to explain to you how to use may and might. May and might. Do you know what's the meaning of may? The meaning in Spanish. Uh -huh. May, tal vez. Tal vez. Okay. okay, okay. Again, again. Who said poder? Poder. Okay. Podría, puede. Ok, ok, muy bien. Ok, really good. En este caso, maybe es quizás, tal vez, pero may significa puedo, poder. Yep. Eh, but how come? Veamos esto. In yesterday class, we were talking about can. En la clase de ayer hablábamos de cómo utilizar can, que significa puedo también. Y could era más polite, más cortés. Significaba podría y también significaba pude but in the past ok <clears throat> en este caso may is eh, más cortés que can pero menos que could esto es un poco confuso pero quiero que lo comprendan bien eh, I'm gonna try to explain you eh, as many times as I can May significa can. Significa lo mismo. Puedo, puedo. No cambia de ninguna forma. Solo que nosotros no sentimos la diferencia. Pero cuando hablamos con una persona nativa, en lugar de utilizar can, vamos a utilizar may. Estamos siendo más amables, más profesionales. ¿Sí? Can y may. Can y may. Yes. Significa lo mismo. Exactamente lo mismo. Could no. es más cortés, Gracias. pero tiene otro significado, porque could significa podría. Mm -hmm. Podría, ok. But in this case, may significa lo mismo que can, solo que sí, eh, cuando lo decimos, aunque signifique lo mismo para nosotros en español, ellos lo comprenden más formal, más cortés, ¿sí? 
Okay, very nice. Let, let, let's go and see uh, an example about this. Uh, the use of made and might. Might, in this case, también significa puedo, pero en este caso, es exclusivamente el pasado de may. Entonces, ustedes pueden decir, teacher, pero ya me dijo que could era el pasado de can. Ok, pero en este caso, ustedes pueden utilizar might también, solo que might nos va a dar una, como un porcentaje menor en credibilidad. Así se manejan algunas cosas en English, right? Ok, veamos acá para que no nos confundamos en esto. Eh, let's see some examples. We're going to use for possibility. For example, eh, let's see, uh, Jorge, can you help me to read it, please? Uh, he, he, might, he may rain, he might rainy leather, so take an um, umbrella. An umbrella, really good. Entonces, what's going to happen? Va a... A llover. A llover. Later, right? Later, in the future. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Tomar una sombrilla. Yeah, very nice. Vamos a, a llevar una sombrilla. Okay, but what happened here is a possibility, right? Is a possibility. Significa, might, significa puedo también pero con una posibilidad me menor. Veamos aquí eh, la explicación. Acá, it may rain, it might rain. What happened here? No, no pago. Ok, ¿qué pasa acá? Sí. Eh, eh, si utilizamos my... Me, I'm sorry. Eh, el porcentaje se eleva, right? Se eleva de que pueda suceder algo. No es 100% seguro, pero sí va a pasar eh, probablemente. Y might disminuye, ¿sí? La posibilidad. Eh, for example, si ustedes usan acá, ah, puede llover más tarde. Así que voy a usar, voy a llevar o voy a tomar una sombría. ¿Qué probabilidad de que llueva hay? Es menor, right? Es un 40%. Pero si ustedes utilizan my, may, I'm sorry, this one, eh, probablemente están viendo las nubes que ya se van a poner ahí, si están bien oscuras, y si es posible, truenos y rayos, right? Ok, that's good. Entonces la probabilidad aumenta. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, uh, we can use may for give permission, right? Para dar permiso. ¿Cómo así? Eh, veamos this example. Carlos Enrique, can you help me to read it, please? You may have another cookie if it you like. Okay, thank you. In this case, eh, we are asking for permission, right? Entonces, acá, the, the sentence says, eh, ¿Tú puedes tomar otra? Cookie. Galleta. Galleta, si tú lo deseas. En este caso estamos dando permiso a que algo suceda, ¿sí? Eh, imagínense que alguien está en nuestra casa. Ah, si quieres más, puedes tomarlo, right? Entonces estamos dando permiso. Aquí vamos a utilizar may. ¿Podemos utilizar can? Yes, you can do it. Claro que pueden hacerlo. Solo que may es más formal. Imagínense que ustedes tienen un invitado en su casa y esa persona uh, es primera vez que llega, siempre está como con pena, right? Eh, si ustedes usan palabras como can, va a ser como muy grosero, así lo van a sentir ellos. So that's why you can use may. Así que por eso vamos a utilizar may algunas veces. Eh, una question muy... Como un ejemplo de una pregunta muy importante es, cuando ustedes dicen, eh, quiero ir al baño, ¿cómo dicen eso? May I go to the bathroom? Ok, yeah, thank you, Gaby. In this case, students, uh, ¿quién puede ir al baño? Es una petición, right, for permission. Pero si ustedes utilizan, eh, teacher, may I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? Sería algo más formal, algo más formal. Aunque traducidos dice exactamente lo mismo. 
really give. Also, we're gonna use may to express wishes, right? For example, may the new year bring you happiness. Podrá el nuevo año traernos felicidad? I hope so, right? Espero que sí, because this year Eh, fue lo contrario, ¿no? <laughs> ok. Ok, really good. Eh, also, we're going to use made eh, if we want to speculate about the past actions. As I said before, she's late. She may have missed her plane. Ella está tarde. Ella pudo haber perdido el avión. Ok, in this case, you can use may or might. Si van a hablar un poquito del pasado, pueden utilizar may or might. Ok. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see this. Ok, but what's the difference between these two both, um, you know, words, may and might? This is un poquito, a little bit confused. Eh, so that's why I, I would like to show you um, as many examples as I can in order to understand this. Eh, voy a intentar mostrarle varios ejemplos para que se comprenda a fondo. Es algo sencillo, pero muchas veces confuso, right? Okay, the key between made and might is that made is in the present, right? Form and might is in the past form of made. La clave es acá. Similar a como utilizábamos can, es may, significa puedo, solo que es más formal que can. Y might es el pasado de may. Así de sencillo, right? Así que no hay donde perderse. Ambos se pueden utilizar por give permissions, to ask for permission, talk about possibilities. Eh, and all, it's almost the same, right? Lo mismo casi pasa con might. Así que eh, we're going to jump to this. And we have this one. We got some example here. I'm going to take one of these uh, new words for us. Voy a tomar algunas palabras nuevas para nosotros. Eh, tenemos may. May significa puedo, pero más formal, recuerda. Eh, ok, veamos acá. Ok. Uh, they may not provide a good service. Ellos no pueden brindarnos un buen servicio. Okay, okay. vemos acá the uh, past tense. Okay, he might not buy here again. Él no podrá comprar aquí de nuevo. Probablemente quedaron mal, right? Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. eh, <laughs> Okay, we got some example here, students. Um, unfortunately, we get a lot of examples, so that's why we're gonna uh, try to figure it out. Así que vamos a intentar eh, descifrarlos y ver dónde se usa may or might. Questions? Do you have questions? Yeah, no, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, I really like this group because never get a question, so everything is clear. So uh, we can uh, see if that is true, right? Okay, let's see. Eh, ¿Qué vamos a hacer en este ejercicio? Vamos a complementar eh, con la palabra que sea necesaria. Puede ser may or might. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Yo un may is, is present and might is past. In the past, yeah. Thank you. of the May. Yeah, yeah, really good, nice, amazing. Okay, uh, satisfied, it's mean satisfaction, right? In this case, uh, we're going to see something related to uh, clients. All the time, we're going to talk about clients and customers. Todo el tiempo vamos a hablar acerca de los clientes. Así que eh, vamos a ver si este cliente quedó satisfecho. Uh, okay, we're gonna start with the first one. Fabricio, can you help me to 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 do this one? Number one. Okay, this can, uh, he might not be satisfied. Satisfied. <laughs> okay, satisfied. Yeah. Okay, he might. Might. May. May. Perdón. He may. may. 
not be satisfied. Ok, ok. Ok, él no está satisfecho o él no... No estaba. No estaba satisfecho. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería? Uh -huh. Él... May, may. Él no está satisfecho. May. Ok, but, but this verb is telling you ah. that it's in the present or in the past. It's past. In past. It's okay. might. 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 <laughs> he might. He might not be satisfied. Satisfied. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Fabricio. Really good. Okay, we're gonna go to number two. Uh, Wendy Bonilla. Wendy. <laughs> number two. Number two. Um, the 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 maid warranty be longer. Okay, okay, Wendy. Um, taking into account that the warranty could be the personal pronouns, right? Eh, la garantía puede ser el pronoun. Warranty. Personal. Yeah. Entonces, en, in this case, uh, you're gonna say this one, luego cualquiera de estos dos, y luego el complemento. Vamos otra vez. Okay, Wendy. The warranty may be longer. Sir, I have a problem connection. Ah, okay, okay. No problem, Wendy. Uh, in this case, Wendy. No, listen, teacher. Uh, me, me, voy a, me voy a salir y me voy a volver a conectar. Okay, okay. Really good. Okay, in este caso, chicos, eh, la garantía es un pronombre personal. Lo vamos a, a categorizar como algo, de, como pronombre personal que sería it. Entonces, the warranty it. Básicamente sería it. The warranty may be longer, right? No en la otra forma, eh, al revés. Okay, really good. Number three. Eh, let me see. <laughs> Fernando. Fernando Roldan. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, number three. Hey. The service. Mm. Mm. Okay. May not be excellent. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Really good. Thank you. The service may not be excellent. Okay, really good. Carlos René, are you there? You may recommend. Okay, you may recommend. Really good. Eh, tú puedes recomendar algún restaurante o alguna persona, right? Okay, thank you. Number five. Okay, number five, Jorge, can you help me? The wire um, may be on hurry. In a hurry. 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 Yeah. The waiter. Waiter. The waiter. waiter. The waiter may be in hurry. Yeah. Thank you, Jorge. Really good. Number six. Okay. Number six. Uh, let me see. William. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I use. Uh -huh. Amanda. I not use. Okay, okay. My not use. Okay. In this case, use in the, is in the present. Ah. This is Amanda may not use. Yeah, thank you. Really, really good. Okay, amazing, uh, students. Um, basically, this is a kind of worry because may and might. Pero lo más importante es entender que may es lo mismo que can, puedo, solo que es más formal. Eh, la diferencia de could y might, eh, una de las diferencias es que could significa podría. Y might solo pude pasar. Nada, nada de, de sí. Okay, very nice. Right now we're gonna uh, listen a really, really.
Spanish conversation, right? De las más facilísimas que hay. Así que, eh, <laughs> we're gonna go to this activity. Give me a minute. Yeah, we have time. Let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna um, listen a conversation between people, right? Obviously. <laughs> And also, uh, we're gonna try to answer these questions. Okay, go Sir, ahead. This page from the Yes. Sir, teacher, eh, pueden off the microphone, please. Se oye mucha interferencia. Okay, okay. You're on the microphone right now. We're gonna listen to the audio. Okay. There we go. Okay, now. Hey, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant, home of the one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here or to go? Uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? Uh, I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week, and it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But the Kitchen Sink. What? Everything But the Kitchen Sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and lemonade with crushed uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now, that sounds disgusting. Uh, hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm, okay. Your total comes to $10.90. $10.90? For just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is $9. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger, that's all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man. The one pound super hot and spicy, uh -huh. the one pound barbecue burger, uh -huh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger. The one pound- No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids menu. The half pound super hot and spicy burger, mm. the half pound barbecue burger, no. the half pound bacon cheeseburger, the same. half pound. No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to ten bucks. What about the other ninety cents? Mm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And, okay, okay. I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week. Okay, really good. Uh, I hope you understand all of this, right? <laughs> At least one word. If you understand one word, we uh, are the way, right? Si entendimos una palabra, estamos ahí con todo en el camino. Así que, let's see, uh, what word did you understand? Que no sea burger. <laughs> the conversation is very flash, teacher. The okay. Audio, okay. In the audio. Eh, cheese, que le está pidiendo, que tiene mucha hambre y le ofrece una... Una pizza pequeña, parece algo así, o de, o de porciones <laughs> pequeñas. Ok, ok, thank you, Fernando. Really good. Ok, somebody else who understands something. Eh, ya hablamos de las burger. Eh, Fernando dice que le ofreció unas pizzas ahí. Veamos ahí, chicos, qué más pudiesen haber comprendido. Ok. Un vaso de agua o algo así, creo que. Hey, okay, yeah, yeah. A glass of water, really good. What else? Okay. Let's see. Let's see here. <clears throat> creo que se entendió toda la conversación. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, unfortunately, it's too fast, you know, but uh, we have to train our ears, as I said, all the classes. Sé que son muy rápidos los audios, pero ni modo, they speak really fast. Eh, we um, sometimes tend to speak slower, eh, but they speak too fast, right? Eh, la mayoría de las personas americanas hablan más rápido que nosotros, así que ni modo. Eh, we have to train our ears. Really good. Okay, eh, let's see. Um, basically, uh, they talk about 
sandwich and hamburgers and so on, right? But the first uh, sentence, it says, the customer doesn't buy the recommended sandwich because el cliente no compró el sandwich recomendado. ¿Por qué no lo compró? Estaba muy caro, eh, tenía miedo de algunos efectos que puede causar en su cuerpo o eh, no quería eh, esa gran hamburguesa ahí. Right. She don't, she don't want a big burger. Okay, okay. Eh, I noticed that you understand. She don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a pasar y luego le escuchamos <laughs> nuevamente. Pero ahorita solo I understand what's the conversation about, right? Tenemos que comprender acerca de qué es, luego entendemos mejor. Okay, mm. the combo meal doesn't come with. Este combo no cuenta con una orden de papas. papas. Uh, dessert. Postre. Postre. El sándwich. Mm. Pan relleno. <laughs> ok. Ok. okay. <laughs> eh, ahí manténganlo en your mind, right? Ok, the number three. How does the special drink get its name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿De qué especialidad es el nombre de la bebida, creo? Ok, ok. How does a special tea drink get its name? Veamos ahí. Eh, when we're talking about beverage, we get a lot of beverage. Algunas eh, son mezclas y otras tamaños, right size. En este caso, eh, veamos... Proviene del de nombre de tal vez el vaso es más grande, contiene algún ingrediente en especial. Okay. La oh, preparación en la, en la cocina. Ok, en el sink. Sinks, how do you say sinks, sí. teacher, in Spanish? Sink que es el lavamanos. Ah. Está hecha del de, de, de agua de lavamanos. Mm. Okay. okay. Sometimes uh, we drink beverage que, que saben así, ¿verdad? Como que si las hicieron ahí del chorro. Okay. Oh. Uh, the man is surprised with the price of his meal because el hombre está sorprendido con el precio de esta uh -huh. comida. ¿Por qué? Char for to decide. El... No veo en el teléfono. Ok, ok. Porque, mm. le, porque le recargaron el precio de... Ah, de, de dos sándwiches. En lugar de... Uno. De uno. Ok, really good. Le estaban cobrando dos. Ok, muy bien, ya. Yeah. Po podría ser que él, se, él sintió que esa bebida no iba a incluir. Number three, él piensa que eh, está sobrevalorada esa bebida. Overpriced sobrevalorada o demasiada cara. Ok. En mm. the last one, it says at the end, the customer, al final, el cliente, eh, fue por, al, por algo más de comer, ordenó algo del menú, o decidió eh, regresar más tarde. Coming over okay. Okay. Really good. Yeah, let's see, students. Uh, right now, we're gonna try to listen again the the audio, right? Ahora ya sabemos de qué vamos a hablar, así que uh -huh. please pay full attention to this. We're gonna listen again, and I know that this time, you know, it's Wednesday. Uh, we feel tired like this, teacher, I'm falling asleep like this, right? But uh, I feel the same, right? It's normal, but we're gonna try to learn. Don't work. Okay, go ahead. Hi, welcome to Joe's Hamburger Restaurant, home with a one pound super deluxe hot and spicy cheeseburger. Will this be for here to go? 
uh, to go. Okay, what would you like today? Would you like to try the one pound super hot and spicy cheeseburger? I don't think so. I'd probably have heartburn for a week after downing that monster. Well, it's our house special this week. And it comes with fries and a large specialty drink called Everything But The Kitchen Sink. A what? Everything But The Kitchen Sink? What in the world is that? Well, it's a little mix of everything in a large cup. Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta Orange, and Lemonade with crushed uh, ice and a scoop of ice cream. Now, uh, that sounds disgusting. Uh, hey, hey, it'll grow on you. Nah, I think I'll just order a hamburger with some mustard and lettuce and a glass of water. Boring. Hey, would you care for anything else like a side order of amazing cheesy onion rings? No, thank you. Onion rings usually don't agree with me. Hmm. Okay, your total comes to ten ninety. Ten ninety For just a hamburger? You gotta be kidding. Well, the one pound super deluxe hamburger is nine dollars. Hey, I didn't order a one pound burger. I just wanted a simple burger, that's mm -hmm. all. Well, sir, Joe's Hamburger Restaurant only serves one pound burgers. Man. The one pound super hot and spicy, oh. the one pound barbecue burger, oh. and the one pound bacon cheeseburger. The one pound- No, no, those are all huge. Well, sir, if you really want something smaller, yeah, you should order from the kids menu. The half pound super hot and spicy burger, the half pound barbecue burger, no. the half pound bacon cheeseburger, the same. half pound. No, those are still giant burgers. Well, in these parts, we are hearty eaters. Okay, but you said my total was ten ninety, but the burger only comes to ten bucks. What about the other ninety cents? Mm. Well, sir, we only serve natural spring water from yonder hills. And okay, okay, I'll take the giant burger and a bottle of your spring water. The sandwich should feed me for a week. Okay. Okay, really good. You got it, right? Ahora sí se entendió un poquito más. Ya no comprendimos solo burger, sino que big burger, right? Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first one. The customer doesn't buy the recommended sandwich because ¿Por qué decidió no comprar ese sandwich ahí recomendado? One, two, three. Which one of this? He's worrying about the F F thing on his body. On his body? Okay, are you sure? Everybody's agree? Yes. Yes. It's too expensive. It's expensive. Okay. Okay. Expensive for him right now. Okay, that's good. Uh, okay, we entramos ahí in two options, right? Uh, for the moment, veamos, number one or number two? Two. Two. Two, two okay. Uh, la mayoría, number two, veamos ahí que nos dice, nos depara the universe. Yeah, really good, congratulations. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is worry about the effect on his body, right? Okay, number two. The combo meal doesn't come with. Este combo no incluye el qué? In, in order of fright. Fright. In order of fries. fright. Okay. Everybody agree with number one? Number one. Yes. Yeah, number yes. one, right? Okay, here we go. Number one. Mm. Oh, sorry, right? <laughs> the common meal doesn't come with a dessert. Dessert. Post, uh, yeah, post. Okay, but uh, lo intentamos y eso es lo importante, right? Okay, number three. How does the specialty drinks get its name? Como esta bebida especial, he does mistake, right? Eh, obtiene ese nombre, right? Mm. It, it comes in a very large cup. Okay. Okay, thank you, William. Veamos ahí. Todos están de acuerdo ahí con William. I listen to it is prepared in the kitchen sink. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Uh, which one? Number one or number three? Oh one, number one. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> number one. Number one. Number one. 
Number three. Okay, number three, number one. Okay, number one, uh, we're gonna go to number one because of the uh, la mayoría, uh -huh. most of you said number one. Right? Nice. Okay. The man surprised with the price of his meal because porque se sorprendió del precio de, de, de ese combo que estaba aquí. Porque le estaba cobrando dos. La estaba cobrando doble. He was sharing for two sandwiches. Of one. Okay. Number one. Number one, right? Okay, go with number one. Yes. No. <laughs> okay. What's, what's going on, guys? Uh, you feel, you know. Oh, chao. Andamos ahí un poco soñolientos. Yeah. Oh. listening. <laughs> We're gonna listen again, right? <laughs> okay. The last one. At the end, the customer. ¿Qué hizo el cliente al final? Order, order something, something for the menu. The menu. Okay. For the menu. Mm -hmm. the menu. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes, okay. Really good. Order something from the, the menu. Menu, yeah. yeah. Order something from the menu. Yeah, very good. Nice. Good job. Good job, right? Okay, as you see, a student, you get two out of two five. Cor two cores. Dos de cinco. Dos de cinco. Two out of five. Really good. La paz, la paz. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, sometime we're gonna have a little bit, um, you know, some problem with this kind of audio. But at the end, students, you understand at least a uh, half, right? Si entienden el 50% for the moment, 40%, right? El 40%, pero ya casi llegamos al 50%. Uh, yeah. uh, we have to get it. So, uh, but right now we're gonna continue with today's class. <laughs> okay, congratulations, you did it really, really nice. Let's see. Okay, right now we get an activity. Right. Um, it will be like a sample. Este va a ser como una pequeña encuesta de cómo se sienten eh, algunas personas when they buy a product, cómo algunas personas se sienten cuando compran un producto. Eh, veamos, uh, number one, one. Uh, let me see, uh, Rodrigo, can you help me to read it, please? Yes, teacher. How satisfied are you with this product? Uh, that, 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 that's a nice question, right? Eh, esta pregunta es muy relevante in our work because we have to identify how satisfied are you with the product are our clients eh, qué tan satisfechos quedan nuestros clientes con el producto eh, probably they are very satisfied muy satisfecho satisfied satisfecho dissatisfied Insatisfecho, muy bien. And very dissatisfied. Muy, muy insatisfecho, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Muy o la atención fue muy mal. Okay, really good. Uh, number two. Uh, let me see. Uh, Carlos Enrique, help me to read number two. Let's rate your opinion about the product's quality. Okay, in this case, uh, basically, uh, vamos a rate. What is rate? Rate es como... Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. Eh, esa opinión acerca de la calidad del producto. Algunos productos son high quality. High quality, right? 
Una. Alta calidad. Yeah, pretty good. And some products we're gonna find out like uh, average. Promedio. Average. Average. Promedio. Más o menos. Pasable. Yeah, yeah. More or less, right? <laughs> okay, low quality. Baja calidad. Yeah. Baja calidad. In this case, uh, the person choose very low quality. Muy baja calidad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Muy, muy baja. baja. Okay, we're gonna try to give an example. Imagine that we are talking about phone. A phone. A, what kind of phone is the average? ¿Qué tipo de teléfono es el promedio? You can say the brand. Podemos utilizar las marcas. Huawei. Ok, a Huawei is an average. Yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> ok, nice. Thank you, Ore. High quality. High quality. Apple. Samsung. Samsung Apple. Ok. iPhone. Or iPhone, Sony. right? Sony. Yeah. IPhone. yeah, really good. And low quality. Alcatel. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Alcatel. Uh, Nokia, que ya quedó en el pasado, pero era muy buen teléfono, but right now it's low quality. And, Xiaomi. Ok. Xiaomi. Ok, Xiaomi. <laughs> Xiaomi is an average. Well, for me, right? Ok, now give me an example uh, with very low quality. Blue. Ah, yeah, blue. 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 <laughs> Ango. 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 Do <laughs> and something like this. Okay, really nice. Okay, we're gonna go number three. Um, the value of this product is what is value? The value. Yeah, yeah. Really good. It could be excellent, good, poor, and very poor. Okay. Eh, puede el valor de ese producto ser excelente, bueno, ahí como pobre, pobre, pobre. muy bajo, muy pobre. Right? Pobre. Ok, really good. Estas son algunas, eh, básicamente, eh, when we get samples, cuando tenemos una pequeña encuesta y preguntamos a nuestros clientes, ¿se sintió satisfecho? Uh, no, right? Oh, yeah, sure, really good. Uh, the last one that we have is, uh, Gabriela, can you help me with the last one? Will you continue using this product? Okay, this is a, a really common uh, sample. Yes or no answer, right? Okay, in this case, she said or he said no. Probably uh, he is really, really dissatisfied very low quality, poor, and obviously he or she is not gonna use the product again. Okay, in este caso, como podemos analizar acá, todas las preguntas apuntan a que tuvo un mal servicio, un mal producto, y no lo usaría nuevamente. Okay, really good. Eh, questions? You got a question about this? Everything is clear? Probably a word that you don't understand. It's okay. It's clear like a coffee. Like yeah. A... You got it, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And when I say coffee, I really need a coffee because right now, you know, I'm a little bit sleepy. But, but, uh, uh, in a moment, I'm going to drink a, a cup of coffee. But right now, we have to continue with today's class. Let's see. Uh, we have um, some questions according to these answers. De acuerdo a esta encuesta, tenemos estas preguntas. And we have to answer them. Okay. Uh, you're going to have one minute to read each one of these questions and think in the possible answer. Van a tener un minuto para pensar, leerlas, interpretarlas y piensen en las posibles respuestas. Ok, go ahead, one minute. Ok. 
Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, ready, right? <clears throat> yeah, I hope so. Okay, we're gonna start with number one. Let me see, uh, Fernando. Okay, Fernando, are you there? Fernando Roldan. Okay, Fernando, I think um, he will get a coffee. Eh, fue conseguir un café, así que vamos bueno, a continuar. No, no, aquí estoy. Ah, okay. Okay. No, Fernando, ¿puedes ayudarme con el primer uno? Ok. No es excusa, pero, pero no tengo, tengo problemas con el teléfono. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok. Eh, don't worry, Fernando. I'm going to help you. Le voy a leer yo la question y usted solo tiene que contestar. Tengo que esperar mejor de Fernando, how was the customer experience? ¿Cómo fue la experiencia de ese cliente? Ah, uh, the experience, the customer. What dissatisfied? Dissatisfied, really good. Thank you, Fernando. You see, the connection, internet, it's okay, right, for you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. That's good. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with Marlon. Marlon Ernesto, number two. Is the product a good one or a bad one? Okay, thank you, Marlon. Hey, Rodrigo, can you answer this question, number two? Uh, the product is a good one. It's a good one. Thank you. Really nice. Okay, we're going to continue with number three, Fabricio. Think about possibility problems the customer had with the product. Okay, uh, can you answer this, uh, Jorge? The customer uh, maybe don't use the product. Okay, okay. Thank you, Jorge. Really good. Marvin, can you give me uh, possible problems too? Um, let me see. Mm. Okay. Um, no se me viene nada, Lide. No okay, viene okay. Bien. Okay, Marvin, imagine that the customer or the client, client or customer is the same. Eh, los dos significa cliente. Customer. Clientes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. In this case, the customer, as you see here, está muy decepcionado. Está dissatisfied. Uh -huh. eh, tiene un problema el, con, el, con el producto que tiene. Uh -huh. El producto es de muy, muy Ajá, de, sería very low quality. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a possible problem, right? Probably the product is a very low quality. Thank you, Marvin. Nice. Okay, students. Uh, eh, basically, this is a sample. Este es como una encuesta de cómo a veces se siente un cliente. It's really important to know this. And right now we answer all of these questions and we're gonna go to today's activity, right? We're gonna have working groups because I want you to wake up like this. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, what you gonna do here? Uh, almost we're gonna do the same. We're gonna create a conversation, but right now uh, the conversation will be really special. Why? Because you have to add a product and uh, you have to create a conversation uh, where you are dissatisfied, right? Or satisfied, whatever you want. Pueden utilizar una conversación en la que ustedes están muy satisfechos o insatisfechos 
con el producto. Positive or negative, right? Also, you can use may and might. Si ustedes pueden utilizar cualquiera de estos dos, sería genial. Con que utilicen may, estamos eh, bien. Ok. In this case, you have to add an intro, right? Greetings. Eh, some questions and followers. Yep. As you do all the time. Así como lo hacen siempre. Ok. Eh, here we're gonna um, give you some ideas. Tenemos unas ideas. It could be this one. Eh, this dinosaur. Right? <laughs> ok. Si, le, si yo les vendiese esta compu, estarían satisfechos o insatisfechos. Que no sé, no sé. Satisfied. 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 Really good. Ok. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because this computer, creo que solo podemos hacer una, eh, alguna hoja de Word o algo así. Right? Ok. Uh, what about this one? It's very satisfied. <laughs> ok. Ok. Really good, Wendy. Uh, there you can watch the, the TV movies, right? Netflix. Uh, prime videos and so on. <laughs> okay. It's well, a smart okay. TV. Yeah. <laughs> but this one. iPhone is very satisfied. Okay. Satisfied for you. Is satisfied for others and so on, right? Okay. Nice. We got this idea too. This is a, a car. I'm very satisfied. Ah, oh, very satisfied. <laughs> okay, really good. Rodrigo, can you uh, tell me the brand of this car? What, what do you think? Toyota Supra. Um, Toyota Supra, right? It looks like a Toyota Supra, a Corvette, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Okay, uh, basically, students, um, you're going to work on this. Vamos a trabajar en esto, hacer una conversación. Pueden tomar ideas de estos items, de estos artículos. Y decir, ah, teacher, yo voy a tomar ese dinosaurio que tiene ahí de computadora y voy a tener que me ha gustado, puedo animar en 3D y muchas otras cosas, right? Ok. Eh, <laughs> we're going to work in group and practice to uh, this conversation, right? Ok, let me see. Ok, here we go. Go ahead, practice each other, and try to build this conversation. Right now, you can do it. Elijan la compu. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we're going to work in groups. <laughs> okay, Carlos, Rene, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm, I'm, I'm very sick. Ah, ok, ok, Carlos, don't worry, eh, vamos a trabajar en grupo, así que eh, I know that you are sick, thanks for being here, eh, sé que está enfermo y gracias por estar acá, but, but try to eh, acepte la invitación del grupo y apóyenles, aunque sea un poquito, right? Thank you, Carlos. Ok, Marvin, I'm going to add to this group. Okay, Mary. <laughs> I have a problem with Zoom. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna send to this group. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. You're welcome.
Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. What item are you going to choose? No, 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 Nice. Okay, try to build the conversation right, work each other, and I'm gonna go to another group. Thanks. Really good. Okay. okay. Hey, you know, teacher. Teacher, teacher. Hello, hello. Presente porque porque está actualizando, está actualizando que el problema. Ah, no, sería pasado porque le está diciendo qué es lo que le pasó. Sí. Estamos buscando un material, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Uh, hay unas ideas. ¿no? Sí. Exacto. <risa> ok, that's good. Así podría. Sí, podría. sí podría hacer eso, Pat. Pero habría que... Estamos viendo, Chir, porque como esta, bueno, como... Podríamos ampliar. solamente tomar la, la, la primera, ¿verdad? La del UD. Ajá, aquí es la del saludo. Ok. Uh -huh. Sí, quiero cosmer. Good morning. Eh... Somi, dice, no es un Sony, no que un Somi. No, es Somi. Somi es Smart. Marca nueva. <laughs> Pajarito. <risa> From company last month. Ajá, vaya, la compró el del mes pasado. Es un fortune. I'm not satisfied. Wow. Ah. Mm. Mm. Creo que sería tomar el saludo, el, decir el, el, el producto y que se siente y no se satisfecha y, y que le pregunte, eh, maybe, may you tell me what is the problem? Y la respuesta sería, the problem is that the orton is... Uh, uh -huh. Y... y uh, who, uh, sería... My, my dream. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. como, como, como se, rompió el, que se rompió la pantalla, digamos. Estaba rota ¿Sí? la pantalla. Okay. Entonces sería. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to another group. Continue working. Uh, okay. In five in a minute, right? Okay. Okay. Sería. Digamos porque el estéreo está mal. No sé, algo así. El estéreo de mala calidad, podemos poner, por ejemplo, es estéreo very low quality, el estéreo de muy mala calidad, algo así. Bueno, yo pienso, bueno, yo lo, yo lo coloqué así, you are satisfied with your smart TV, como diciendo, usted está satisfecho con el con el televisor, vea. Ajá. Digamos, no, el que responde dice lo que acaba de decir William. 
Smart TV. Um, no, estoy digamos, insatisfecho. Ajá, I, aquí sería I, I don't. Como diciendo yo no. I'm not. This is, ajá. This is, this is, this is, this is, o puede ser no, puede ser no, sí. I'm, I'm dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. dissatisfied. No, dissatisfied. No, dissatisfied. Yeah. I, I am not there. Yeah, I am not. I am not satisfied. Uh, not dissatisfied. Not this, not this teacher, or not satisfied. Uh, dissatisfied, dissatisfied. Ah, okay. Uh, because. Solo sería, uh -huh. solo sería not this, not dissatisfied, or sería no, I, I am, I am dissatisfied. Not. I am no, I am not. No, I am not. Oh, okay. Y aunque parezca repetitivo, but in English you have to say it like it. Sería no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not satisfied. It's not satisfied. Not satisfied. Ok. Y le pregunta que por qué, vea. Ajá, sería la pregunta. Why? Ajá. ¿Por qué? Why? Sería por... Is estéreo... Very low quality. Algo así, no sé. Ok. Because a problem. Problem in audio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Audio. Que es estéreo, vea, ¿qué estás diciendo? Uh -huh. el, el audio. Uh -huh. problemas con el audio. Ajá. Ajá. Problem in audio. In connection. Conexión in al internet. Connection. Ajá. Uh, internet. Internet connection. Uh -huh. No, ah. Uh. No, internet connection. Uh, and inter internet connection, uh -huh. uh, Yes, I have a problem with internet connection. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with the audio in internet connection. Uh -huh. With, ah, uh, it's with. Ahí podemos decir. Very low quality. Yeah. Es de muy baja calidad. Yes, really good. Sería is is qué dijiste? Is very low quality. Quality. Ah, okay. Very low quality. Okay. Sí, quiero ver qué más sería. Sí, ahí sería. The, the value of the product. ¿Cómo califica el producto? Ajá, sería the value. No, otra vez sería. The value of, ah. of the smart, ¿verdad? Ajá. Smart TV. ¿Cómo evalúa este, pro, este, este televisor? ¿va? Algo así. Ajá, este smart TV. Ajá. It's a... Pero, pero no hemos usado el MEI. Ah. Es cierto. Ok. ¿Cómo se, mejor pongámosle, ¿cómo podría? ¿Cómo, cómo podría? Uh -huh. <risa> yeah, it could be the I can. No, pero aquí hay que usar el, el MEI. Va. Okay. Ok. May. Okay, continue working. I'm going to go to another group. Thanks. You are nice. Okay. But satisfied. I am satisfied. No ah. satisfied. Uh -huh. Es cierto. Quito yeah. el, ajá, el, I'm, este sería. Eso no, está bien. Eso, Solo eso está no, bien. Está bien. Lo, 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 que lo volvamos a repetir. Very. Um, satisfied. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Dissatisfied. Dissatisfied. No sería al es final. Que, 
Ajá, lo que pasa es que ahí eso está contestando very long quality, quality, pero es de la baja calidad. Ajá, pero la pregunta es Muy insatisfecho. si está satisfecho. Ajá, entonces córrele el very long quality. Vaya, entonces, Porque el de pues... esa es la otra pregunta. So, ahí, a ver, a menos que le hubiera preguntado si está satisfecho con la calidad del producto. Ajá, entonces sería así, va. How satisfied satisfied are you with your computer? Vaya, pero, very dissatisfied. pero póngale I am, I am al inicio y borre el otro. O oh, bueno, lo puede poner como énfasis y decirlo I am enojado. Very I'm very satisfied. Very... <risa> Mejor quitémoslo porque se repetiría. Sí. Vaya, very satisfied. Eh, no, pero aquí dice satisfecho. Sí. Con eso hay que quitarlo. Y bórrelo también. Vete a borrarlo. Sí, solo déjele I'm very satisfied. <risa> <risa> cuesta, cuesta la pronunciación de ese. Ok, satisfied, be satisfied. I'm sorry, be satisfied. Okay, no problem. Satisfied. Vale, ¿qué otra pregunta haríamos? Vale, la otra podemos poner. Eh, will you continue using this product? Or will you continue continue use Your computer or this computer. O recomendaría mejor. Ah, también. Recomendaría este producto. Sí, también. Sería, I will recommend. Ah. Oh, 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 bueno. No, good girl, good girl. Creo que es al revés porque es este. Mm -hmm. Es pregunta, entonces sería good, good you like, recommend. Ajá, ajá, sí. would you recommend sería. Good you. Will. Uh -huh. Will you, you yes. sería? Will you sería? Yeah. Will you recommend this product? Mm -hmm. Y la pregunta. Uh -huh. Question mark. Yeah. Uh -huh. Está, está quedando algo pasando. Pero se entiende. <laughs> Recomendaría este producto y él podría decir que no, que no, no porque no porque es Muy mala, lenta. mala. You can say no and then you can ask again why, uh -huh. because uh -huh. this and this and this. Not because, ajá, uh -huh. not. No, ahí puede, póngale no y que el A le pregunte de nuevo why, uh -huh. para que pueda responder con el because. Yeah. Ok. No. No. Uh -huh. Why sería así, ¿verdad? Why. Uh -huh. Sí, con muchos signos de interrogación. <risa> like a surprise. <risa> surprise. <risa> <risa> ¿Cómo podemos decir que tiene un procesador lento? Su velocidad es muy poca. Yo le iba a poner not because it is of poor quality. Poor quality or the, the, the processor is low. Uh -huh. Whatever you want. Okay. Uh, Teacher. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Eh, acabo de, I just about. Eh, just about. Acabo de hacer algo o algo así. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, you can say, uh, I was about. I was about. I was about. Okay, gracias. Okay. Y, y si es un, es un verbo, solo sería, I was about to. Ah, I was about to, lo que sea que acaba de hacer. 
eh, si es en presente, I'm about to, yo estoy a punto de. Mm. Y si es un futuro, I will be about, y lo que sea que va a decir. Okay. Okay. Eh, y es, no veo. Okay. 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 Algo, algo recto. Al final, por ¿cómo le puso por? Ahorita, ahorita. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, continue working. Um, we're going to go to another group. Uh, we uh, be back in a minute. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. For Saturday and again. Okay. Hello. Hello, guys. Did you finish? Mm. Oh, yeah. Also, teacher. Also. Do you need help? Necesitan ayuda, I'm gonna be here. Teacher. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Eh, I'm sorry. Eh, según le entendí, este, tengo que usar el mic, ¿verdad? Might or may. Eh, sí. Cualquiera de los dos. Aunque sea en una pregunta. Por ejemplo, uh, may I help you? ¿Puedo ayudarle? Y ahí lo estamos utilizando. Ah, por ejemplo, bueno, en, en la introducción yo puse Good morning, buenos días. Yeah. Good morning. Can I help you? Uh, Ahí, you can change can instead of may. May instead of can. Okay. Ponemos may en lugar de can. May I help you? Yeah, may I help you? Okay. okay. Right. ¿Qué compañeros? Eh, yo he hecho, no sé, una media conversación que, en base a las preguntas de la, de la, del ejemplo de la encuesta. Ok, ok. Y aquí está. Teóricamente yo empiezo hablando diciendo: Hello, my name is Jorge. I doing a survey about your experience. Yeah. About the new car Toyota Supra 2020. Ok. Can you help me? May you help me? Yes, really good. May you help me? Okay. The question one, uh, what is your name? Y cualquiera de los compañeros puede contestar. Okay. Uh, mm. No sé si alguien lo... Eh, hagamos esto ahorita, así, y con lo que salga. My name is... My name is José. Eh, José, how satisfied are you with this car? Ok. Yes, uh, I satisfied. I may be satisfied. May be satisfied, ok. Uh, read your opinion about the car quality. The value of this car. Uh, no, Fernando, aquí tú tienes que contestarme qué opinas de la calidad. Lo, la respuesta tuya, ah. no lo que sigue. Ahí sí, yo no continué escribiendo porque ahí se que cada quien opine. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm. Eh, the quality is, is very good. I I may I may make and credit this car. Okay. Uh, the value of this car is is excellent, good, poor, or very poor? Uh, 
is is good. Okay. <laughs> Will you continue using this car? Yes, I I may use the car. Thank you, you for answer. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, okay, really good. Thank you. <laughs> Carlos, si quieres compartirlo tú cómo se llama lo que has hecho para practicarlo. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. Voy a tener la, la pan, compartir pantalla. Teacher, creo que la idea es usar make, verdad que es en better can y make, make en better can. Ya, no? ya. Yeah, yeah. May no. Okay. Make, yes. But you use it okay. in the right way. Pero lo usaron muy bien. Okay, okay. Carlos. Uh, can you share your work? Este, bueno, corríjame aquí si no lo he aplicado bien, por favor. Ok, ok. Eh, bueno, voy a compartir la pantalla. Ok, go ahead, Carlos. Ahorita, ahorita. ahorita. This video watching YouTube teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> In class. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eh, no sé si lo alcanzan a apreciar. Bueno, eh, lo que está resaltado en verde es una otra persona, ¿verdad? Por eso lo he puesto así. Okay. Uh, morning. Eh, good morning. My, I'll help you. No sé si así es, teacher. Ok, en este caso, Carlos, eh, solo podemos utilizar may, porque might está refiriéndose a un pasado. Un pasado. Yeah. May I help you? Si quieres, José, ¿cómo se llama? Le ayuda a Carlos con las partes sombreadas con verde para que... Yeah. Okay. Um, para que practiquemos. Ok. Okay, Jose. Go ahead, Carlos. Start with this yeah. one. Hi. Okay. Hola. Hi, good morning. Excuse me. May I help you? Uh, excuse me, my friend. Last mom, I can to buy a biker. Is it on Toyota Supra? Okay. Okay, what's that? Oh. Oh, say, Angel, are you there? Angel, are you there? Okay, I think uh, Jose Angel got a call. Creo que José Ángel tiene un problema con el micrófono, así que Carlos. Eh... Very good. Oh, okay. okay. I may help you. Okay, José Ángel, eh, creo que tiene problemas con with the microphone, así que, ok, le va a ayudar a Fernando Roldán. Ok, go ahead, Carlos, y Fernando, you will be the green uh, one. Go ahead. Ok. Here. Good. Sorry, ok. Good morning, may, may I help you? Ok, está bien. Vaya, de acuerdo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. 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 We're gonna wait for Carlos. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry, están coordinando el transporte de mañana. Okay. I know that you are a businessman. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Carlos, you're gonna practice with Fernando. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Start. Good morning. No. Good. Good night. <laughs> May I help you? Excuse me, my friend. That's mom. I came to buy a 
biker is it a um, Toyota Supra? Very good, friend. Which had responded very well to me. It is very comfortable, inexpensive, and um, has extraordinary stability. Okay. Okay. What do you think on the price? The price is according to what to what the car offers me. Yeah. Hey, okay. what do you think of the quality of the Toyota? The Toyota is um excellent brand. I recommend it. Okay. How do you ever evaluate it as a product? Excellent. Where you country to copy this type of vehicle for your personal use? Yes, I will use it. Okay, okay. Mm. Nice. Mm. Okay, that's it, right? Okay. It, it, yeah. Okay, really nice work. Uh, at the end, you did it nice. <laughs> okay, uh, lo hicieron muy bien, chicos. Excellent work. Uh, please don't be shy. Try to work as a team. Yep. Teacher, yeah. sorry. Eh, apa, aquí es, es eso lo que me podría ayudar. Este, yes. ¿Dónde podríamos haber ocupado el MAI, MAI y todo eso? Aparte de la pregunta. Okay. Eh, en este caso, Carlos, eh, decíamos que MAI eh, we're going to use for present. Vamos a ocuparlo para presente, tal cual tiene en la, en la, en la pregunta. ¿Puedo ayudarle? May I help you? Mm -hmm. MAI se usa para pasado. MAI. Entonces, pero como no tiene nada relacionado al pasado, no se usa, no hay problema. Teacher, por ejemplo, you may, you may buy car, Toyota. Ok, yeah, it could be a, a sentence. Pudiste haber comprado un Toyota, right? Correcto. Ok, ok, you might buy a, a Toyota, right? Ok, really good. Ok, guys, thank you. Really, really nice work. Voy a ir a otro grupo, así que please try to practice again with Jose Ángel Santos. Tal vez ahora se puede, así que practiquen with him. Ok, ya regreso. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, I'm ready. Ready, go ahead. Ready, ok. Let's start. Let's start with this. Okay, uh, I make a shop assistant. Okay. I am a customer. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, so, so, customer service, my name is Hell. May I help you? Good morning, sir. I could chose a Sony Smart TV from your company last month. In a fortnight, I am not satisfied, satisfied with the item I ordered. Ordering. There has a screen has broken. Uh, oh, sorry for all inconvenience. Uh, Mr. Fabricio, we're going to change products right now. Could you mind tell me your ticket number? Yes, of course. My number, my order number is G2832B. Ah, okay, and your name is, could you spell it please? Yes, my name is Fabricio, F-I-B-R-I-C-I-O. Okay, thank you, please, Mr. Bricio. Give me a moment and I will bring the new smartie. Thanks, sir. Bye. Okay, okay, really good. Nice, nice work, right? Okay, uh, I really like your conversation. This, uh, it's a full conversation. Okay, amazing. I'm gonna go to another group. See you in a minute, right? Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Told you gave me money back. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry for the problem. 
Okay, really good. Did you practice already? Yes. Yeah, you finished, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know if you can practice again. I would like to listen to you. Ah, okay. Um, uh, le person eight, um, William, or. Oh. Él esté con Carlos, ajá. Ay. Sea Carlos. Ajá. Y usted ve. Okay. okay. How satisfied are you with Smart TV? I am not dissatisfied. Why? Because I have because I have a problem with audio in connection in internet is a very low quality. Okay. Oh, you may use a direct connection with with the internet cable. Cables? No. I call return the ma the money because I I not satisfied. Okay, sorry for the problem. <laughs> okay, okay, really good. <laughs> because I said, hey, that's customer, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, you did it really nice. Eh, así que, eh, nice. I'm going to go to the last group. Y lo veo un instante. Okay, thank you. Okay, define como la forma en que usted dice las cosas. Aquí no. Oh, aquí que significa lo mismo. Y aquí usted la dice como quiera. De chetazo aquí y ahí muere. Pero allá no, allá. Sí, okay. Si usted le dice May o cómo fue, Paul. Yo estoy aquí para ¿Quién? que le pregunten. Ah. Ahí es. Ok, ¿estás listo? Uh, ¿Ready, right? Yeah, teacher. Yes. How pronounce compensación? Compensación. Uh, compensation. Um, it's slow. The processor is slow. Mm -hmm. it's slow. It's slow. 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 Processor or processor? Processor. 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 It's slow. Yes. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Marvin and Carlos. Uh -huh. We have two conversation. Uh, yeah. Number one, uh, Carlos and me. Yeah, go ahead. Hello, excuse me. May I ask you your sound question? Hello. Yes, yeah, sure. How satisfied satisfied and you're with your computer? I'm very dis dissatisfied. Would you recommend this product? No. Why? No, because it is for poor quality and the processor is low. May I have a compensation for, for again, the issue? Issue, yes. Issue. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Yeah, we did. Amazing. Okay. Rodrigo. Ahorita comparto el otro. Bye. Okay. Mm. okay. Hi, how are you today? Great, my friend, and you? Not bad. I would like to ask you something. May I? Yeah, sure. I was about to buy a car. It's a, a veil. How is it? Oh, it's a really bad car. I don't recommend you that car. I had it and it has a lot of problems. I'm very dissatisfied. All right. Okay. And which one would you recommend me? Maybe a Toyota. Okay. Thank you so much. See you soon. I will show you my new car son. Okay. Really <laughs> nice. Amazing. I like it. Okay. Uh, guys, both conversations are really, really, really good. Okay, you are a nice group. I like it. And see you in the main session, right? Okay. 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 Okay, students, as you see, um, time is over. 
el tiempo se ha terminado. Eh, I don't know why, no sé por qué se pasa tan rápido ahí. <laughs> ok, eh, but as a last poem, we're gonna pass the attendant list again a little bit quickly. Ok, let's see. Uh, ok, José Vladimir eh, Jiménez Escobar. Are you there? Ok, no, right. Eh, Wendy Saray Bonilla Ordóñez. Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, are you there? Se fueron a dormir. Se desconectó, yo creo que dormida está. Para dormir. <laughs> Wendy, is there. Wendy, are you there? Say present. Okay. I hear teachers. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Okay, uh, Jorge. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Fernando de Jesús. Present teacher. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, let's say right. Carlos Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Okay, really good. Eh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Clarisa. Clarisa Yomilet Chacón Quintanilla. No way. Right. Okay, uh, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos. Okay, Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Tatiana is sick, so that's why. Okay, okay, students. Uh, unfortunately, time is over. Congratulations, you did it really, really nice, right? Uh, I see that you like to work in teams, right? Veo que le gusta trabajar ahí en grupos. Eh, nos abunda bastante, así que está genial. <laughs> ok, that's amazing. Ok, congratulations. I see that some of you improving your pronunciation a lot. That's nice for me. Eh, so, I see you tomorrow. Y por favor, a los que les toca el grupo de 10 a 11, ahí eh, entrar a la otra sección. Ok, I okay. see you later. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good tomorrow, teacher. Thanks. Good night. 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 Good night.